Welcome, dear learners. Today we are going to discuss about the plastic waste management. So the term plastic means material which contains as an essential ingredient of high polymer such as polythene, tetraphthalate, high density polythene, vinyl, low density polythene, uh, polythene polypropylene, and many kind of materials. So polythene uh, and polyvinyl chloride and polystyrene are largely used for manufacturing the plastics. So the plastics which are we using in the day to day life mainly contains polythene, polyvinyl chloride and polystyrene. So what are the various types of the polythene? So based on the chemical properties and the Bureau of Indian Standard classification and uh, which are notified in uh, plastic waste management rules 2016 there are seven categories of plastics the first one is pete1 that is polyethylene tetraphthalate one so this product is for example these are not these are uh, these are recyclable so they are used in soft drink bottles water bottles uh, sports drink bottles and jelly jars, mouthwash bottles, the bottles which we are using day to day in household items. And second one is high density polythene. That is we use in milk jugs, juice bottles, yogurt tubes, that is uh, for example grocery. And uh, this is recyclable. So third one is polyvinyl chloride that was used mainly for the pipes. So they are used for the food packaging, wires, cable, insulation, pipes, fitting, and uh, for example, lawn chairs, children toys, they are all made up of polyvinyl chloride. Then fourth one is low density polyethylene that is uh, basically used for the dry cleaning bags, uh, bread bags, frozen food bags, uh, dispensing bottles, uh, six pack, uh, six pack rings, uh, various molded laboratory equipments that are uh, being generated from the low density polyethylene plastic. So this is also recyclable. And then fifth one is polypropylene. That is basically used for the ketchup bottles, yogurt tubes, syrup bottles, uh, and bottle caps, pa packaging tapes, uh, and uh, for example. The paint uh, boxes we are or uh, taps we uh, purchase from the market this is also recyclable and the sixth category is polystyrene that is disposable bottles this is not acceptable for the recycling program so these are basically disposable items for example disposable glasses plates uh, cutlery we are using uh, cd cases uh, which are we are using that is not recyclable so egg cottons cottons are there also in this uh, category and the last one is other plastic that is uh, for example this is also recyclable but these are for example citrus juice bottles plastic lumber headlight lenses and many other things uh, gas uh, containers are sometimes there which are made from this uh, other plastic items or uh, this is uh, basically labeled as o so this, uh, these labels you can find in any plastic item. Uh, you can see most of the polythenes, for example, we use for the packaging and bottles we use in day-to-day -day life. You might be seeing these kinds of signs in uh, the bottles. So from this, you can see whether this is a recyclable and what kind of material has been used in this. For example, PET, SDEP, vinyl and then uh, low density polythene and polypropylene polystyrene so the polystyrene and the polyvinyl chloride pro these are not acceptable for this re recycle programs uh, and the rest of the five the categories of the plastics are used for the uh, can be used for the recycling so other categories uh, that the uh, plastics have been categorized are the thermo uh, plastics. The thermoplastics are the thermosoft in plastics are 
which basically get soft uh, upon the heating and can be molded into desired shapes like uh, PET bottles, uh, HDP, uh, high density polyethylene, low density polypropylene, polyvinyl colloid, poly polystyrene. So these plastics can be molded in different kind of items, uh, desired items, um, upon the heating. Then the second category is thermosets. Thermosets or thermosetting plastic strengthen on the heating. This basically when we heat them, they get strengthened, but cannot be remolded or recycled. They cannot be recycled and they cannot be remolded. And uh, for example, the sheet molding compounds like fiber reinforced plastic we use, bakelites we use, they cannot be used. Uh, I mean, they cannot be reused or we cannot mold them on uh, into desired items uh, upon the heating. So there are two types on the basing of the heating get uh, uh, their quality to, or their uh, tendency uh, upon the heating, thermoplastics and thermosets. And upon the daily uses, uh, where we use in plastic, we use plastic, for example, in our daily grocery items, whether we purchase milk canes, whether we purchase yogurt, we purchase ice cream boxes, we purchase uh, what we call uh, the curd, many items that we purchase. And also the packaging material of different items. Uh, and uh, commonly we use the polythene, uh, different colored polythene like blue, black, uh, orange, pink, whatever. It basically depends upon the which kind of uh, metal is used in the as a manufacturing process. So we are using this as a carry bags. Then and these are the packaging. For example, uh, the uh, electronic equipments we purchase, like printers, like mobile phones. They also uh, are wrapped into the bubble cases. And then the food items that are the also disposable than toys in toy manufacturing in day-to-day -day life items like the tubs, jars and um, mugs, glasses and then pipes, fitting pipes, plumber pipes. We are using the plastic. So in each item, there are different kind of plastics that plastics we have discussed earlier. There are seven types. So every item have different kind of plastics. So it depends upon what kind of uh, the thing we have to uh, manufacture. So some other important facts about the plastic. Plastics are made from oil with a highly polluting product production process. Plastics just do not dissolve. They break down into microplastic that circulate into the environment and single water bottle can take up to 1000 years to break down. So basically, when uh, there is a polythene uh, and we bury it uh, under the soil, even after 100 years, we can still find that uh, the polythene is still intact, that is not degraded. So the, it takes hundreds of thousands of years. It doesn't get dissolved in the water. So the, in Asia, the world's leader in plastic pollution, the Philippines alone dump around 1 billion pounds of plastic into the oceans. So this is one of the emerging kind of plastic pollution that is the pollution in the oceans because of humankind. So the Philippines dump 1 million pounds of plastic into the oceans. And this is over uh, 1 lakh and 18,000 trucks worth. And in 30, uh, 30 years, there is likely to be more plastic in our oceans than our fishes. So the, in oceans, there are various programs that are now currently going on that catch the ocean pollution or catch the ocean uh, uh, plastic. They are catching the plastic from the oceans and then they are recycling it. So this is one of the emerging problem besides the terrestrial problem of the plastic pollution. And 83% of the drinking water contains plastic. It is basically the plastic which is not visible. Even the phytoplanktons, small single uh, celled uh, plants or uh, single cellular photosynthetic plants, they can also take uh, this microplastic. This is how minute is this plastic. So in our day-to-day -day life, our, um, we take plastic or consume plastic in our food items or drinking water. And studies show that the consuming plastic could lead to cancer, effects on hormonal levels and heart damage. Plastic have 
being found in blood even in newborn babies this is the grave situation and over 6600 marine species are uh, affected are affected by plastics nearly four, uh, 45000 marine animals have been ingested uh, plastics and 80 person were injured or killed because of the hunger when they consume the plastic definitely uh, this plastic will not get digested and at the end they will get uh, they die because of the hunger plastic can be uh, pierce an, uh, animals for the inside cause starvation entanglement loss of uh, body parts and uh, suffocation sometimes if there is a choking of uh, the windpipe because of the plastic item some thing which get inside the mouth of an animal so sometimes the body parts get entangled into the plastic kind of thing so this is the basically uh, in the aquatic kind of situation as plastic travels with ocean currents uh, an island called great pacific garbage have been created that are new now in many islands of our trash seas basically in pacific ocean there is a region uh, that we call the great pacific garbage patch that we i will be showing in the picture uh, whatever the garbage basically in the asia that dumps into the gets dumped into the ocean it somehow finds its way in that area and most of the islands and in there gets uh, converted into the garbage dumps so some a study showing that uh, the country waste mismanagement rate like the china and hong kong has mismanagement rate around 74 percent india has 85 percent so in this uh, category uh, india is uh, only after vietnam uh, 85 percent of the mismanagement of this plastic pollution and the imports uh, of the plastic are also very high as compared to when we say after the china and hong kong 0.9 billion million metric tons have been imported from 2010 to 18 by india and the number of uh, ship containers that carry these uh, plastics is also quite high in china and hong kong it depends upon the how much the uh, this uh, plastic waste is imported so india's uh, plastic uh, the size of industry is around uh, 1 lakh and 10000 crore and the number of company and units which work on the plastic are around 30000 and plastic consumption is around 30 metric tons per year and waste generation is 9 metric tons per year means around only 6 percent uh, of the plastic is recycled and when we talk about the different states that the state of Maharashtra has highest generation of the plastic waste so after that there is Gujarat and Jammu and Kashmir is very uh, low as compared to other states of our union territories of India and uh, According to the report, per capita per day production will increase by 0.7 kgs uh, in 2050. So current rate, uh, which the current rate of generation, uh, it get increased by 0.7 kgs in, by 2050. And various uh, factors on which the characteristics of waste depends upon, for example, are the food habits, tractions, lifestyle and climate. And India's plastic consumption will cross around 20 million metric tons by 2022. So before going further, I want to show you the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This is a Great Pacific Garbage Patch in which you can see how much plastic have been recovered from a whale in this area. So this is very grave situation that animals are consuming this plastic uh, like they are consuming the food items. So these are not digested and definitely they die of the hunger. So according to the reports, uh, in uh, year 7, 2017 and 18 by Pollution Control Board has been estimated that uh, India generated around 9.4 million tons uh, per annum plastic waste, which is around 26,000 tons of waste per day. 
and uh, 5.6 million, uh, million tons per uh, annum plastic waste is recycled means only 60 percent of this plastic is uh, recycled and left is i mean uncontrolled or that is spread here and there so out of 60 percent recycled plastic 70 percent is at registered facilities out of this 60 percent and 20% is recycled by unorganized sector and 10% of the plastic is recycled at home. Like we are using, for example, the paint tubs we purchase from the market and we use later on for that as a water carrying bucket or something else or watering the plants. While these state uh, stats are 38% higher than the global average because global average is only 28%, uh, 20% and Indian average is around 30% and there is no comprehensive method of uh, uh, placing plastic management. Additionally, there is a constant increase in the plastic waste generation. One of the major reasons for this is 50% of the plastic is discarded as waste after single use. And this is uh, the very serious issue. And if we take in global figures, uh, per capita consumption of uh, the plastic in US is very high. It is around 109 uh, kgs per capita. And uh, in India, it is around 11 and global average is 28. So in Jammu and Kashmir, waste generation is around 74,826 metric tons. This data is around of uh, 2021. And this metric tons, uh, 74,826 metric tons is uh, per annum with monthly average of around 6,200 metric tons. So in JNK alone, uh, which I was showing in earlier figure, that was around 60,000. Uh, but the latest data is around 74,826 metric tons per annum. And there is uh, the graph which shows an increased trend of the plastic production, particularly in Asia, like uh, the China uh, country and Russia, and second number is uh, America and then Europe. So as I was saying, only 60% uh, and 70% uh, 60% of plastic is recycled and 70% of the plastic packaging products are converted into plastic waste in short span because uh, these are discarded uh, and generally in the garbage pickers they pick and then it gets recycled in short duration. The recycling of the virgin plastic material can be done in two to three times. If a virgin plastic is recycled then it can be recycled two to three times because of every recycling plastic material de uh, deteriorates due to thermal pressure and its lifespan is reduced. So the virgin plastic is very strong as compared to recycled plastic. So hence recycling is not a permanent and safe solution for the plastic waste. So it has been observed that the disposal of plastic waste is a serious concern due to improper collection and segregation. So we should go for the proper segregation and collection of the plastic waste. So what are the various sources from which most of the plastic is generated? Like 11.9% uh, are generated uh, from the bottle, caps, lids, chips, uh, wrappers, 18.6%, pet bottles, supermarket retails, straws, garbage bags, packaging, food bags, and uh, fruit juice bottles, water soft bottles. There are n number of uh, the uh, this. This is very important here to see the cigarette lighters are also uh, showing a significant uh, number in the plastic waste production. So the highest number is chips and confectionery bags. So uh, 18 and 11 percent. So we should be more focused on these three items. Chips, uh, packets, bottles and pet bottles. So what are the environmental impacts of this uh, plastic pollution? So first plastic pollution, it impacts the human body like it creates headache, throat, coughing, lungs. As I said earlier, it can cause cancer also, uh, liver dysfunction. Uh, it creates the soil pollution, water pollution, aquatic pollution, and uh, it leads the soil, uh, I mean, um, unsuitable uh, for the agriculture activities. 
and also the plants uh, also the animals they consume the plastic and uh, later on they are involved in serious diseases so the first impact of uh, the ground uh, of this plastic pollution is a ground and soil pollution plastic is a material made of uh, that lasts forever due to the same chemical composition plastic cannot be degraded as you seen it is uh, available for hundreds of days into the soil and uh, when it is buried into landfill plastic gets untreated so the toxic substance that can drain into the groundwater and that later on can be used for the agriculture irrigation and that chemicals can harm our plants and later on they can uh, find their way into the food chain so they can find their ways into the lakes and rivers also or seeping the plastic and uh, the soil and they can result in microplastic in the soil so when this plastic it uh, i mean uh, converted into the small pieces and uh, this then uh, find a situation in the food chain as a microplastic pollution in the oceans because of the plastic increased uh, presence of plastic in the ocean surface has resulted in more serious problems uh, because of most of the plastic uh, is uh, dumped into the oceans for the years and uh, it leads to dropping the oceans oxygen level severely affecting the survival of marine species and um, for example birds are consuming the plastic uh, just uh, thinking that it is a fish kind of thing so later on it is not digested and they die because of the hunger and dangerous for the human life uh, because burning of the plastic resulted in the formation of glass fumes like halogens are released from the burning of the plastic and they can cause the health problems like the cancer endometriosis uh, neurological damage endocrine disruption birth defect uh, child development disorder reproductive duct damage image uh, immune system damage asthma and many other things can because of this plastic so plastic waste uh, poses huge threat to marine ecology also there are about 8 million tons of plastic waste entering oceans every day so the total plastic in the ocean amount is around 150 million tons and uh, only plastic uh, packaging accounts for 62% of all items that have been rec uh, recovered from the coastal what was i saying earlier that there is a coastal uh, or ocean cleaning program in which the plastic present into the ocean is recovered so most of the plastic recovered from the oceans is comprised of the plastic packaging materials and in 2014 there was around 1 kg of plastic in ocean every 5 kg of fish and by 2050 there will be more plastic than fish so 5 kg fishes and 1 kg of plastic and uh, this number is going on increase day by day so Indian uh, constitution has uh, implemented a rule that is called plastic waste management rule in 2016 for the management of the plastic wastes so what are the salient features of this uh, plastic waste management rules first these rules shall uh, these uh, rules shall apply to every waste generator local body gram panchayat manufacturer importer producer or brand owner carry bags made of uh, virgin or recycled plastic shall not be free than 50 my that uh, should not be uh, less than 50 microns in thickness it should be uh, of more thickness than 50 microns the provision of thickness shall not be applicable to carry bags made by the compostable uh, plastics some plastic they are compostable so their guidelines are mentioned by an is uh, an iso 7 uh, 17088 so the waste generators include institutional generators event organizer shall not litter the plastic waste shall segregate the plastic waste and hand over to the authority agency and shall pay a uh, user fee prescribed by the urban local bodies and spot fine in case of violation so here the urban local bodies have been i mean uh, uh given powers that they can uh, find if someone uh, deliberately uh, i mean uh, create the pollution in case of plastic pollution so the waste generators are uh, 
any kind of the event organizers they have the responsibility for the segregation and handovering the waste to the authorities so the local bodies basically the municipal corporations shall encourage use of plastic for road construction or energy recovery or waste to oil or waste to energy or making the bricks in brick lens that were earlier used in the traditional ways but that was creating quite uh, high amount of pollutants air pollutants and it shall be uh, the responsible for the development and setting up of infrastructure for segregation collection storage and transportation process and disposable uh, disposal of plastic waste either on its own or by engaging agencies and then gram panchayats either on its own or by engaging as an agency shall set up or, or operationalize or coordinate for the waste management in rural areas so in rural areas gram panchayats have been given the powers and in urban areas urban local bodies like municipal corporations have given the powers under this act so the producer importer bad down and need to work you know, on the modalities of the waste collection so waste collection segregation and then they have been uh, i mean the given the power, uh, uh, guidelines and the state pollution control board uh, shall be the authority to enforce the provision of plastic waste management rules so the implementation is by the state pollution control board and concerned secretary in, in charge of the urban development of the state or union territory and concerned gram panchayat in rural areas of the state of shall be the authority to enforce the provisions of plastic waste management rules and district Minist magistrate or deputy commissioner shall provide the assistance to uh, state pollution control boards in implementation on enforcing this kind of rules so how to manage the plastic waste so there are various strategies the strategies are reduce reuse recycle and recover so we will discuss these all, all these in detail first is reduce by lowering the amount of waste production we at the source level reduce the creation of the plastics and then reuse uh, whatever we have we should reuse that uh, till it can be i mean reusable then recycle using uh, the new products by thermo uh, by the by heating up molding different kinds of products or recovery uh, that is the energy from the plastic and the safe disposal that's, that is the landfills so the reduce at the source level uh, it's basically discourage the use of plastics and uh, then the 90% of the plastic items in daily items will be uh, abundant like the plastics we use in fat bottles water bottles chip packets i mean they all will be discarded so the 90 percent of the problem of the plastic waste will be solved if we reduce or discourage the uh, use of uh, disposable plastics and uh, second one is to minimize the buyers buying water each year uh, close to 20 million uh, plastic bottles throwing the trash like we are using buying the plastic bottles juice bottles we should minimize the use of such bottles and definitely at the end we can reduce the i mean kind of uh, pollutants like we can use instead of that we can use the glass bottles um, that is uh, that are recyclable glass earlier we have uh, been seeing that we are uh, having the cool drinks in the glass uh, kind of bottles but over the period of time now we are only using the pet bottles then minimize use plastic cartillary uh, making a habit of using metal unit utensils instead of plastic cartillary purchase items second hand items and then newer items have the lo lots of packaging kind of thing like we are buying the new smartphones it has new packaging if we buy old smartphone second hand definitely the packaging will be less and support back tax or ban support legislation by the laws which put taxes on the ban of single use plastic like in Jammu and Kashmir also there is a ban on the single use plastic uh, so such bans can um, uh, reduce the use of the sing uh, disposable items and the second one is reuse reuse is a setup of uh, from the recycling it diverts plastic to takes pressure of the recycling service in fact uh, reuse is a middleman between the reduce and recycle some would uh, be surprised 
at how many opportunities for reuse uh, there really because we you should you reuse for example we you are uh, uh, purchasing any kind of uh, grocery and we get a poly bag but we should try to use that poly bag as much as times we can one can use plastic produce bags such as sandwich plastic grocery bags many times and uh, for instance since refillable plastic containers can be reused many times like we are purchasing the paint uh, in the plastic uh, buckets we can reuse that as many times as, as we can and recycle recycle or reutilization of the waste plastic have been several advantages first recycling reduce environmental pollution energy saving are around 4200 a uh, megajoules per kg and it is quite dependable up on the what type of for the polymer like are we using high density polyethylene or polystyrene polyvinyl colloid it depends upon that what kind of energy is available then it is economic benefits reduces damage on virgin polymer prefer to landslide generates employment uh, reduces uh, depletion in fossil fuel reserves and but there are quite other difficulties hard to separate from non plastic basically uh, when we separate the or when we go for the segregation of the metals we use magnet but here we cannot use we have to go the separation is very difficult in non from the non plastic items differing composition of plastic uh, resins means they are largely incompatible sometimes different kind of plastics uh, the three four seven kinds of plastic sometimes these are non compatible we cannot i mean recycle all these uh, together degradation of polymer chain or on recycling it is also a problem when we go for the three four times recycling it is not good recommendable so the low value of recovered plastic uh, subsidies for the recovering uh, recycling program there are n number of the difficulties also and benefits as well so the recovery uh, another alternative is uh, recovering the energy that is going for the waste to energy plant so, uh, that energy is uh, stored in the residual material that we can recover from that that means turning waste to into fuels or oils by manufacturing or equipment or uh, we can go for the biological or calorific system or technology can convert or reprocess or break up waste into new materials and some of the plastic waste management technologies like first we uh, in uh, the plastic data generated either at the house or the commercial level it is collected by the municipal uh, staff or authorities or the collection vans then it is segregated by machines or manually then it is incinerated 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 basically it is used for the energy generation and if it is not incinerated uh, then it is organic waste in organic this is basically the segregation uh, if it is an organic then we go for the composting purpose if it is inorganic then we go for the incineration for example that it is uh, non recyclable plastic that we go for the energy generation or uh, in uh, the cement cleans or brick cleans or uh, plasma pro- uh, pyrolysis process and if it is a recoverable plastic then we go for the recycling or road construction or waste to oil or waste to energy so these plastics have been used in n number of things but there is a new trend there is a use of plastic in the road construction because as we see the plastics uh, if we mix the plastic with the i mean the dip, uh, bitumen for the road construction it increases the durability of the roads particularly for the uh, winter kind of weathers so this kind of new technologies have been emerging how can we i find personally that the plastics should be used for the road construction we should not go for the recycling as much as because it degrades the quality of the plastic and we cannot burn for the for example for cement cleans or brick cleans waste to energy plant is quite somehow acceptable because there is a quite under uh, i mean uh, surveillance how kind of how many kinds and what type of chemicals are releasing from the brick lens so these are quite some uh, environmental friendly uh, managements of the this uh, plastics besides all this last one is the landfill that 
should be done in the scientific way the landfills should be concrete lined and then there should be proper monitoring of the leachate that is released from the landfill and there should be proper uh, management and the there should be always uh, management that the leachate uh, never uh, finds its way to the groundwater then it can lead to the groundwater pollution so landfills is also uh, quite uh, widespreadly practiced in particular in urban or rural areas for the disposable for the disposing of the plastic waste so what are the ways forward for the plastic waste management target the most problematic single use plastic by conducting baseline assessment to identify the most problematic single use plastic like the wrappers or the bottles we are using we should focus on that Considering the best action tackling program through regulation, economic awareness, voluntary action, giving the country socio-economic standing, and considering their appropriateness in addressing uh, the, the specific problem identified. Then assessing the potential social, economic, and environmental impacts, positive as well as negative, when we are discussing various kinds of the uh, problems with the plastic. Identify and engage the key stakeholders like retail, retailers, consumers, industry, representatives, local government, manufacturers, civil and, and there are n number. I think each and every of us is the stakeholder in case of the plastic pollution. And raise the public awareness, um, basically uh, banning the uh, single-use plastic and then raising the awareness for the same is also a good kind of the intervention in management of the plastic pollution and promote alternative uh, before like uh, when we ban the certain, certain kind of plastic we should uh, bring an alternative I, for example when we are um, when we are drinking the water and the pet bottles we should see the what is the alternative there is in one technology where there is a water kind of balls we need not to I mean uh, use a packaging material just uh, that is a kind of hydraulic hydraulic gel when we put that in gel in mouth it gets converted into the water that kind of technologies we can use for the water bottle uh, that water instead of water bottles we can go for the grocery with the uh, jute bags or the cloth bags and such kind of the alternative should be available or biodegradable packaging or uh, the carrying bag material Provide incentives to the industry by introducing tax rebates. The industries which are involved in the plastic waste management should be given tax rebate. And use revenue collected from the taxes on levies on single-use plastic to maximize the public good, thereby supporting the environmental projects. So these taxes can be diverted for the environmental program or management of the uh, further management of the plastic waste. And enforce the measures to effectively by making sure that there will be clear allocation of the rules and responsibilities. Like in case of gram panchayats, it is in the rural areas, and in urban areas, it is the urban local bodies. And at last, we monitor and adjust the chosen uh, measures if necessary and update the public uh, on progress. We should keep updating the progress. So in areas where the plastic generation is very high and um, there is also the uh, deficiency of the energy we can go for the creation or uh, installation of waste energy plant and it can um, i mean manage the plastic as well as it can uh, create the energy but the uh, one thing should be kept in mind that there is not degradation of the air quality in that area so this was all about the plastic waste management. I hope you all enjoy. Thank you.